Hello again. This is the Watering Man. Spiritual Toolbox number 30. I'm back to the love chapter. And this is number 6 of the love chapter series. And uh, this audio recording number 348. Examination table number 11. I'm going to continue. I did verse 1 on the through 5 recordings previously. And now I'm starting into verse 2 of 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Or 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 2. The love chapter, okay? Now let me get a little drink here and then I'll try to give you a drink. Okay. <clears throat> I'll start off reading it in the King James Version. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 2 says, And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. Okay? This may take several recordings for this one uh, verse. It's, I'm not going exhaustive, but I'm going deeper, okay? So now, let's go back here. Okay. Um, there's and, and though, okay? I'll start off by uh, looking at though. The word translated as, as though in the King James language right here is the number 1437, in the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, and it's spelled E A N, and it's this word. Strong's G, 1437, Aeon. Aeon. Okay. Okay, and the et it's a conjunction. In the etymology of this word, it comes from 1487 and 302. Kind of like a compounded word, okay? All right, now, okay, the first word, number 1487 of that compounded conjunction, this is a conjunction, okay, this compounded word is 1487. Let's take a look at that. Overall, this word means like if, it's a conditionality, or it's weather, okay? Now, let's check it and see where that's coming from, these two compounded words. The first word is 1487, it's E-I, it's this word. Strong's G, 1487, I. 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 <laughs> it's a conjunction, okay? It's a primary uh, participle, or, or particle, sorry, of conditionality. Okay? All right. And it just simply means if or whether, okay? Uh, yeah, if, whether, it's conditional, right? All right. Now let's go back and see what the other part of that compound word is, uh, that, that, uh, conjunction is number 302. It comes from the word. Strong's G302 on, on. On, A-N. Okay, it's a particle, it's a pri primary particle. Um, it's saying there is no equivalent in the English, okay? But if you go down and look into it, like in the Strong's, it's saying it's a possibility or an uncertainty. Um, okay, um, it's indicating the Thayer's exhaust air. Uh, it's Thayer's Greek lexicon. It's saying a particle indicating that something could, can, or could occur, or uh, on certain conditions, or by some fortuitous causes or cases. Okay. Um, back here on this other one, this um, EI, this conjunction, the first part of that, number fourteen eighty seven. Uh, it's a primary particle. And it means if or whether it's conditionality. It's a condition. I looked up also, I'll read it here, under a condition. It's a particular mode of being of a person or thing. It's an existing state. 
it's in the way you think, right? A situation with respect to circumstances, okay? And now, if you go on down in that Thayer's right there, it'll it'll tell you, it gives kind of some examples. It has references and stuff. If anybody wants them, we can get them. Or just look for yourself. Go to the Thayer's Greek lexicon, okay? And here's some of them, okay? I would have done it, right? They would have repented. Uh, you would not have condemned if conditional, right? But it's telling right up here, what's condition? It's a particular mode of being of a person. Uh, it's a situation with respect to circumstances. Those old storms of life were so great on me that I would have, but uh, man, that just pressed me down too much. Calls me to go off and rawr, 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 eat up. <laughs> Excuses, excuses, excuses. They're justifying it to themselves. Just like my former pastor used to say, justifying is just a lying to yourself. First and foremost, convincing yourself that your old ego is right. Your old me, myself, and I is our one smart cat. Stupid. It's trying to give you a lie. It's lying to yourself, okay? Don't believe that sucker. Make God true. Acknowledge that God is true and all men are liars. Good intentions are not good enough. This is all coming from that word that they translated as though. Hmm. It's giving you a whole lot more insight in here, a lot more picture of what it is, isn't it? Ah, boom. The curtain was, was rent or pulled back from top to bottom. When Jesus Christ died on the cross, right? It's exposed. That old alpha dog inside you, your old ego, is being exposed. Ah, ha, ha, your pants are down. <laughs> right? Now, it's also, like, here are some other examples. He would have watched, you know, I would have watched, but, you know, I had to sleep, you know. I couldn't watch all the time. They're making excuses. <laughs> no one uh, would have saved. Nobody else did it, so I wouldn't do it either. I wouldn't. Nah, I wouldn't give in. I wouldn't do no repentance. I wouldn't change the way I think. I done put too much time and effort, talent and effort in this thing. I put all my life into believing and being this way, and I wouldn't dare turn around and go against my own. Right mindedness, you know what I mean? My own righteousness. Well, I ain't gonna throw all that stuff away. Aren't you being just like Lot's wife? And turning around for that bullshit? It's all filthy, stinking rags. The way you're perceiving it, the way you're seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell about that thing with your old ego in control is crap. You gotta put Christ in control. Doing about face, change the way you think about those things. You're not forsaking no person, the right mind of God in them. You're forsaking that old stinking thinking, that wrong perception. Okay? Now, they said they would have asked, you know. I would have asked, you know, but, you know, blah, 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 you know, talking like a donkey, hee-haw, 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 or a dog, it's unintelligible, just excuses, okay, God knows you better than you know yourself, you're not going to pull one over on God, don't, it's stupid, okay, and so you would have resort choice, we should have become, I wrote a little note here telling about that stuff. Good intentions are not enough. Saying, I'll do it, or no, well, I would have done it, but, you know, something come on, that, that. why didn't you call and tell me? Oh, well, you know what I mean. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. You're going right back to your own filthy, stinking rags, your own right mindedness. See, that's in your own self. You're doing it yourself. It don't matter what's out this stuff out here. This is all just circumstances. It's what you're dealing with you and God inside. 
Okay. Now, habitually practice, and that's in that's that word do in Philippians chapter four, verse nine. Let's hop there real quick. Uh, I may not even make it to this first little part here on this one. I may have to do several. I don't know. Let's try to keep going though. Chapter chapter four, verse nine. Okay. You can read the rest of it yourself right there. Okay, those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do. That's habitually practiced. And the God of peace will be not with you, in the midst of you. I'm pretty sure. Let me look at this. Just going off memory here. Uh, but, but, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's me to, right here, this word. Strong's G, 3326. Meta. Meta, okay. Meta. 3346, uh, 26. Meta. It's in the middle of, in the midst of, in the midst of all that stuff. Not with. Okay, it'll be in the, with you. It's in the midst, in the middle, in your mind. Okay, now let's word back up just a little bit on that. Uh, that do those things, all that stuff there. Do it. It's this word P R A S S O forty two thirty eight. Strong's G forty two thirty eight. Prasso, prasso, prasso. Okay, so now habitually practice prasso. Existing in hot pursuit of God's righteousness. Turn from that old stinking thinking process. Quit making excuses. And come out of that stuff. Okay? See? So it starts off this verse. And though. So just quit that all that nonsense stuff, basically. Quit uh, justifying your, your own actions. Your own thought processes. Why didn't you do that? Oh, well, you know, I would have done this, but I wouldn't have done that. I would have, would have, would have, would have, but it was just too bad for me. Okay? <laughs> okay, now that's, that's on the very first part of that verse, okay? Let's uh, hop back here. Right, I'm at 12 minutes, okay? Uh... Okay, 13, verse 2, okay? And though, that's though. Don't make don't make excuses. Don't justify it, okay, in your mind. Don't justify why you can't. Metanoia, repent, change the way you think about this thing. Every little thing, every little ball, every little th thought process in you. God's putting his pressures, all this fiery trials in your life to give you an opportunity to change the way you're thinking and be in hot pursuit come back to him. That's the only way you're like accepting and agreeing with God. All the rest is falling away from God. Whether it's hot, good, or bad. You yuck. Okay, you gotta turn from that. You in hot pursuit of God. You stir that each up this stuff out, skin it off, burn that dag on the old gal on me, this anthropos thinking on I me, mean, I don't want it no more. Ah! Right? Emphatic at it. Just, Everything you got. God will pull you out. It's God's strength, God's power, God's might, God's spirit. Let's bring you out. It's not your own might and power. You go right back to your old right mindedness. You know, you're like that alpha dog. That alpha dog in you will turn you right back, keep you right going back to your own vomit, your own bull crap, your own S H I T T S, your own crap. Have you eaten crap hot dogs and crap milkshakes and ew, yuck? Okay, don't be a sucker. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. Now, and though I have the gifts of prophecy, okay? Now, this though I have comes from ECHO number 2192. Strong's G 2192. Echo. 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 Okay? And uh, it's a verb, primary verb, 
verb. It's um, to possess, uh, to have, to hold fast to, to have or hold possession of the mind. Be kind of like self-control. Okay. Said uh, of alarm, agitating uh, emotions. All those pressures of life you're in control. You're not giving in to them, making excuses. Well, I can't do this or I can't do that because of this other stuff. It's pressure me too hard and I just give in to it and I'm like that sign. Like, woo, 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 woo. 100% for, 100% against. 100% for, 100%. Up, up, good, bad, good, bad. God loves you the same. God's constant. He loves you beyond words. Right in the middle. Okay? You gotta agree with God in hot pursuit. Okay? Alright. Alright. So you gotta possess it. With your mind. Be in, be in control of those emotions. Don't let that storm to life control you. Don't let the circumstances of fire trials and the pressures to tell you what to do, basically. Mm -mm. Not that me, myself, and I. No. Burn that sucker up, Daddy. Burn that self up. Shall we chop out this board, my child? Yes, sir. Now, oh, well, I can't, because uh, <laughs> it's making me cry, or this makes me happy. All this money right here. Oh, 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 oh. I'm swimming in it. Instead of swimming and basking and recognizing God's a great hero in God's thought processes. Reverence, right? Understanding God's a great hero. Latch on to him. That high pursuit, right? Now, and though I have the gift of prophecy. Now, that word gift, it's not even in there. Where's it at? It goes from Echo 2192 to Prophecy 4394. And then it goes right on down to And. Hmm. Uh, right by us, maybe it's huh? Though, it's right before that. That E A N. Hmm. We covered that. Hmm. And the word before that was And. K I K A I. Huh. They added that bull crap. Oh, you better go look. <laughs> All right, well, so that word wasn't even wasn't, wasn't even there in the original language. We just thought throw that throw that in there. Okay. Now, <coughs> now, prophecy. Oh boy, <coughs> <coughs> that comes from the word forty three ninety four. It's spelled P H. Or, or P R, I'm sorry. P R O P H E T E I A. And it's this word Strong's G 4394. Prophetia. 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 Okay. <laughs> That's a feminine noun. Oops. Feminine noun. And it's from 4396. And in prophecy, okay? Now, but we got to look at this more deeply than that, okay? All right? So now let's go down and chase that down a little bit. And the, the etymology is the root word where this is coming from right down to the root, okay? Like you don't take and do stuff by an action and start, well, this action here is what it's all about. Now you go all the way back. Beyond the biochemicals and your muscles doing it and bones, everything doing the work. Go right back in, even past the brain, right back into the mind where it starts. Go to the root. Root of the problem. Root of the whatever this is, where this is coming from. This will show you something, okay? 4396. Okay? And it's this word. 4396. Strong's G, 4396. <clears throat> Prophetes. Prophetes. Okay. It's a masculine noun. Okay. Um, Prophetes. Okay. 
Now this word is also, it's like an interpreter of the oracles or other hidden things of God, okay? Now, the etymology, the root from where this is coming from, is from a compound word, two words. Uh, 2253 uh, and 5346. Let's go look at them. Okay. Now, number. Yeah, uh, where's that at? Okay, right there. Okay, had fun. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> there it is. Had <laughs> find it in my notes here. I match it up here, check and kind of keep myself in line, okay? Number 4253, the first word of this compound word, okay? Where this is coming from. And it's P R O. Strong's G, 4253. Pra. 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 It's a primary uh, preposition. Okay? That's a root part of this part of it, okay? And it means before. Let's uh, take a look at this here. Yeah, before, prior, or superior to. Hmm. Online, it's before. In the Thayers, it means beforehand, in advance, before, before the face, uh, um, before the face or entering into, like, the presence. It's the actual presence, like, of God, okay? And that's love, that love beyond words. They put a little bit of city inside of every person. Romans chapter 12, verse 3, okay? Remember? Went there several times. I'm not going there right now. You can go there yourself. Look at it. Okay. That's this pistis. Okay. That faith. Translated faith. Okay. Now. <clears throat> the love. Agape love. That love beyond words. Existed beforehand. And is preferred. And is superior to. Any other reward possible. Any other thing that you could possibly want. Because all this other stuff, turning back like Lot's wife did, going to your own right-mindedness, is just like grasping after the wind. So your hand speaks of your works, your efforts, in your mind, starting in your thought processes, giving out all these orders to do this stuff. Not starting with the actions. Not looking at, oh, you're the bad person. It's going right back to your thought process. Where is that coming from? And if it's come there and it's all your efforts coming from that old right-mindedness, that old stink, filthy stinking rags, as it says in Isaiah 64, 6, my righteousness is as filthy, stinking, menstruous rags. It's yuck. It's that bull crap, okay? Bull crap thinking, okay? All right? Now, all that stuff, grasping after that with your own efforts, your own might, is just like grasping after the wind. I grasp after that. Oh! I got it, I got it. Open it up. All you might have is, I mean, your own righteousness is really crap. Yuck. Clean that off my efforts, my works, my mind. It's what God's doing with all this storms of life, pressures, fiery trials and stuff. It's giving you the opportunity to. Quit doing that, my child. Be reasonable and sit my way. I'll clean that crap off of you. I'll power wash it off of you. Probably won't feel real good, but it'll get her done. Right? It'll get her done, right? <laughs> all right? Now, but see, all this is God is your exceeding great reward. I am your exceeding great reward. Genesis 15, 1. All right? The self-existing one. As you exist into that, you'll quit grabbing after the wind, open it up, and there's nothing there. Nothing there. Maybe you're worthlessness, that righteousness that you thought was so valuable and it's nothing but crap or there's just nothing there tangible, nothing good, nothing that's lasting, nothing that's permanent, okay? The self-existing one is your great reward, is your exceeding great reward. It's better than anything you could possibly imagine. 
better than anything you could even hope for is this love that's beyond words that Father God has for you. Yay! <laughs> Woo! Right? Party time here in this old lion's den, right? Woohoo! Come here, pets. Lay down there. Put a muscle on it. Stick a sock in it. Let me take this duct tape here. Wrap, 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 wrap it in your mouth. You lay there and be good, boy. Hey, don't you dare drop me. Smack, smack, smack. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Or Goliath, you know. Or the fire furnace. Or any of that crap. Okay? All right, now, so that's the first part of that, that pro, okay? It's superior to, God's love is superior to all this. It's the great reward, okay? Now, the second part of that word, that compound word, is, uh, just back up a little bit, and I'll have this pronounced, uh, 5346, okay? All this is under prophecy, the interpreter. Uh, an interpreter of God's word, of God's thought processes to you. So it's equipping you to be able to right, make the right decision in hot pursuit. Yeah, all right, let's cut this out because it gets tough in the middle of those fiery trials and, and pressures and stuff. And your, your, your fleshly thinking is weak, weak, weak. You'll cave to it. You'll give in to it. But see, as you got these spiritual tools from the spiritual toolbox they're trying to give you. He said, oh, yeah. I'll taste and see that the Lord is good. I'll try this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You come out of it. Be in hot pursuit. Exist. And God will pull you through this stuff. Don't turn back. Don't turn back that righteous or cut you. Shoot yourself in the foot. Go. Go back out of the mountain, back down that crap. Then get her. But as you're holding on real tight, you're falling exponentially into love with God. Again, in this area of your thinking process. 1 to 2 to 4 to 8 to 16. 32, 64, 128, right? Boom, 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 boom. Double them, okay? Now, <clears throat> second word in that. <coughs> number 5346. <coughs> <clears throat> Starting around close on time. Are we going to get her? Okay, it's a P H E M I, and it's a verb. It's, it says it's probably the same uh, as the base number 54, 57, and 53, 16. I'll try to get that if I, if I can. Okay. And what this means is to show or make, one, uh, make known one's thoughts. What's in there? That's all what all this purpose all these fire trials and these pressures are for sent by god not by no devil ah, crap, that's stupid no it's sent by god okay to give you an opportunity to be reasonable my child and sit my way okay now no matter how hard it is you gotta give up that stinking thinking do a 180 degree about face and come back to God. No holds barred. Full, full bore and hot pursuit. Okay. Now, this uh, word, 5316, is this word. Strong G, 5316. Fino. 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 P H A I N O. It's a verb. And it basically it means. To show or make known one's thoughts. Okay, in the the uh, Thayers, it's it, it's saying the same thing. To make known one's thoughts. Okay, now in Hebrews chapter four, verse twelve, it's the word of God is quick and powerful, and all this stuff, dividing the center of the spirit and soul, just fleshly thinking, and the, and the, the mind of God, the thinking of God in there. You got to make your mind up, right? Go read that. Look at it, study it. Okay, show yourself approved. Okay, all right. I'm running out of time, so I gotta go a little quicker. The pressures and fire trials of life bring out what is truly within a person's heart, mind, or thought processes. In the eye of the storm, in each storm, 
okay, of one's life, you have to agree in hot pursuit with God's righteousness. Or disagree. Not make, try not to make the decision or whatever. You're disagreeing with God and you're falling away. So which way are you going to fall? Fall towards God or fall back away from God? And God is asking the person to repent, to change the way you think, to turn around, change the way you're thinking about this, come back into Him. Now, that word 5346 comes from two, like a compounded word, two words, 5457 and 5316. 5457 is P-H-O-S, and it's just light. God is light, God is love, okay? And it's especially the rays of light, to illuminate, okay? Okay, so it's illuminating you, it's bringing you to understanding, okay? And the other one, 5316, uh, this is getting right down to the base of it, the root of it, is a verb, and it's uh, P-H-A-I-N-O, um, is to bring forth into the light. Or to appear. Christ is appearing right in the middle of your seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell in each and every area. Christ is taking control, kicking out that ego dog as you come ek from out of ice into, towards and into, into God, EN, in God. And in union with God, is taking over. Christ is appearing within your seeing, hearing. Christ in control, taste, touch, and smell.